The wife's beloved karaoke shower speaker system, the uh, sound bot has stopped working. It just doesn't power on anymore. And uh, when I took it out off the wall, like she had said, it would just stop randomly working. This was completely sealed like it is, and I opened it up. And it was full of water. You can still see it is wet. Now, this just sits up high up on a shelf. And it's not like it's something that's sprayed down continuously. Um, I guess I'm just going to leave this suction cup in here. And I'm going to try to take it apart. And see what its failure is. That way she can get back into singing. It's not going to make any difference for me because I'm not here, which is home along singing in the shower. Two more screws to go. Now, I believe she got this thing here. It's, it's a Sombot. I believe she got it off of Amazon. I'm not sure of the pricing or anything like that. As you saw there, that was a little bubble, and uh, I mean, moisture has gotten inside. You see, this, the moisture is all over the speaker as well. So that definitely tells me that this is not waterproof by any means. So I'm going to take the little gasket off, and I kind of want to get the rest of the screws where they at. There's one here, so there's been, okay, there's these. I'm going to put them in this clear container so I know where they went. Okay, so we have three more screws. Looks like there's some fluid here. Um, when dealing with equipment like this, ideally... They should have used conformal coating on the circuit boards, which I will verify here in just a second if they actually was something that they did. And I don't think it's something that they probably did. Also, I want to look at the speaker. I kind of wanted to see if it's like, I don't know, marine grade speaker. I don't think that would be. It's like it's just hot glued in or super glued in. Sound quality is like completely terrible. I mean, concept is cool. You can sit there and play your music. There is a four screw. I didn't see that. Hidden by the uh, speaker. Alright, I am going to disconnect the battery. And kind of give this a once over. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to take the battery off of the board here without bending it too much because it is a lithium battery, and if you mess with it too much, it goes boom. And we didn't want no booms. There's a Bluetooth controller right here. Just scratching on the board itself. I they didn't put no conformal coating down. I can tell you that much. There is no conformal coating to protect the circuitry of anything. Okay, so. I'm gonna do is take and see if I can 
I don't know if that's just corrosion or if that's flux. It's in between the battery contacts here. You can see something here that looks like it's corrosion. There's a microphone here. It's completely wet. And if it had any conformal coating on it, then it doesn't. I would have been able to scratch some coating before I would have scratched the, uh, the board itself. So they have a shower speaker that's actually not conformally coated and they're selling it for you to use in your shower. Which makes a lot of sense. Let's take the uh, old charger board off here. I want to see if there's any fuses underneath it. Because it's not, does not have a, a power light, does not turn on nothing. Not a zilch. Nothing on that board. I'm going to put these over here and separate them. Okay. I take and disconnect this. This is C. There's nothing underneath that connector. Sometimes you like to take and go underneath the connectors, and sometimes corrosion can be underneath connectors. So, um, yeah. Right now, all I'm doing is looking for a fuse of some sort. I see none. I see R8, R9, transistor, diode, FB5 is right there. Does it not look like a fuse though? It looks like a, looks like a, could be a coil. Like a, yeah, it'll be a coil. And essentially what I'll, all I'm going to do is take the hair dryer and I'm going to dry this speaker up. And then I'm not going to dry the battery up. It should be mostly sealed. I do want to verify voltages coming in. Get the voltmeter out. Take and plug this in here. Take and Measure the voltage. I have to write in black here. Make sure it's five volts. Um, I don't know if you can see it really well on the meter or not. Let's see if this works. Yeah. Okay. Alright, I got nothing coming out of that, so I'm going to disconnect the speaker, and I'll just measure straight from here to here. Again, I got nothing interesting. I don't know if I shoot it out. Hmm. But I could just plug in the uh, power adapter to... An outlet, and we should have a voltage now. That was my fault right there. So, yeah. Um, still not getting nothing. 
and I, I got it plugged in. All right, well, I'll plug it into a different one. I don't know if I shorted that. power supply before or not there's a five volts okay I said I may have just realized my mistake this was for the uh oh that's five volt that's for the uh, Amazon thing So I got five volt coming out. Seen a light flicker. Not sure if that's good or bad. Uh, let's see, here's power. Power just flickered on. There we go. Let's see if it will play. It starts flickering. I was searching for the phone, which is in another room. Verify we have power. Now I'm gonna take and plug in the the battery. I'm not sure what we've learned from this, other than some things needed to be dried out. What I thought was soap and whatnot is actually the sealant there. I mean, this board was wet. There we go. Now we have a charge. Now we have a charge going. You see that's steady on. That almost looks like, like a uh, a laser LED. It's pretty pretty intense there. I turn the main light off here. That's not your typical LED. It almost reminds me of like a laser diode. I'm like blinding to stare at. All right, I'm gonna turn it off. So what did we gain from this? Um, we know the circuit boards are not conformal coated. They will get wet. Um, in order to potentially make your thing work again, just Removing it out of the shower is going to be your best bet. Um, I'm not saying putting it in a bag of rice because the bag of rice is not going to do anything. You can actually probably go to the camping session in Walmart. And I do have drying bags specifically meant for moisture and electronics. So you could get into that. And put it in there dry out the circuit boards i would almost like need to just get some type of sealant that's going to be better than what they have this little rubber o-ring it's not not going to work 
think it's another step for you as a person to take and make sure to always have your charger port facing downward so the water will try not to collect. I know it will because it's just going to be right there. So it's going to beat up as much as possible inside there create a vacuum so basically instead of rolling off it's going to just attract itself back into it so yeah now let's put it on a different charger i know that charger worked prior so i know something was wet and Oh, it's an issue. So yeah, that is my take on that. I could fix, I could fix and take and put conformal coating on this board here, but it's uh, not worth my time. Thanks for watching guys. Hopefully it fixed something of yours. We'll see you next time. Oh, key feature here. They have these notches here for the plastic. The rubber here, your power button is going to be going this way. Make sure your power button, it says power right here, faces the same direction. Um... Circuit board also has the vias set up, so they will just drop into place once you find the little small pegs. Should be like right there. So I got the one peg here, there's the other peg. Alright, so now that kind of snaps into place, and then you can just put your four screws in. I wanted to show you that before. You asked me a million questions. And, additionally to all that, putting the gasket is going to be easier than what you expect. They already have the groove set up for you. Just got to put it around it. See this little groove here? I'm going to put this little small gasket that goes in between the two plastic housing. I'm not really calling it a gasket, but that's what it is. That's what they want it to be. And then, you line your four holes up. And there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Oh, and one last thing. If you ever wanted to know what the quality of this is, you're thinking about buying it, coming from a guy just 60% hearing loss, the quality really sucks. It's terrible. I just, no. It's so bad, so distorted. Idolatry Tree headphone at the max blast sounds a lot better than that. I don't know what you guys did for your sound, whatever, but it's complete garbage. Sorry, bros.